Zach. Zach. Can you hear me, Zach? There you are, Zach. It's York. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping again? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. Isn't that right, Zach? This is part two. I made a worm. Did a worm from bench. Oh, Zach, oh. it looks like she <laughs> wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so Look we at are that, Zach. Guys in after all. She's welcoming us yeah. with open arms. She's even willing to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. That pineapple. <laughs> Hurry up and chow down, mister. Unless you like your breakfast stale. What an amazing place. I've been on top of the moon since the moment I got here. And the name of this wonderful town, Lacari. Sounds like French to me, but what does it mean? I'm the chef, David. If you want to know about the town, you'd better ask the concierge. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. Did you hear that, Zach? He's a true professional. You say something, mister? Uh, no, not to you. I was just talking to Zach. Zach? Uh, Please don't ask me about Zach. It's a private matter. If you say so, still. Never thought the FBI would ever come out to a little old town like ours. I do work for the FBI, but I didn't come here for an investigation. I just happened to stop by on my way to New Orleans. <sighs> Never thought there'd be a murder out here either. And it was a 16-year-old kid. Now I tell you, this country seen better days. What you reckon, mister? Zach, he's definitely a professional, but it seems like he's also a bit lonesome. That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. Folks say the killer used an axe. Hell of an old-fashioned choice, if you ask me. Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. But shoot, I ain't the one you ought to be asking, Mr. FBI. I only heard what I heard. But seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I can tell you what I know. Please do. I appreciate it. What do you know about the victim? Where's the Clarkson's house? 
говори на обата на Виктор. Виктор. You said the victim was a 16-year-old. Did you know her? Well, sure. I reckon the whole town did. Meaning? She's Lise Clarkson, the little grandbaby of the Clarkson family. The Clarkson family? That's right. You ain't seen they sign on your way in here? The one above that huge coal storage complex. Should have had a dragonfly on it. Anyway, that's the Clarkson family seat. They own most of the land around here. From the sugar plantations right down to the food processing plant. Yeah, I reckon they got a stake in just about everything. They even own the water tower on the edge of town, you know. Can't walk the zone. They're the ones who built up this town, and they still support it. I feel like this would be the next important question. Is the local law enforcement investigating the case? <laughs> Shoot, mister, what you think? Now, I told you this ain't no city. We in the bonafide boondocks here. They got the know-how to break up fights and keep folks from killing each other when they piss jaw. They sit down and talk it out with you heart to heart. And when that don't work, they just beat your ass. That's the deep south for you. This murder ain't like that, though. A little kid got killed. A weird way. Like something on a TV show. The Sheriff's Department ain't never seen nothing like this. By the way, Mr. FBI, I ain't seen a car in the parking lot. How'd you get all the way out here, huh? Don't tell me you walked. Well, that's a very good question. Chef David, you've got a sharp eye. It's true that I didn't park my car in your parking lot. Do you know why? Can't say I do. Because it was stolen. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> huh? But you with the FBI, right? Even FBI cars can be stolen. It could happen after you park your car on the side of the road and go off to do some legwork. When you're eating lunch, when you're watching a movie, when you're asleep at night. When you're buying cigarettes at the local supermarket, your car can be stolen anywhere. That's precisely what it means to be an FBI agent. That's very rational. In my case, my car was stolen while I was on my way down here. But no need to worry. I already reported it to the local authorities. And I've also already acquired another mode of transportation. Another mode? Want to hear the details? Not really. <laughs> but I'll listen if you want me to. Then please do. After I finished my work in Houston, I flew to New Orleans. Then, I rented a car at the airport. Whenever I visit the West Coast, I always rent a convertible, especially in California. But <laughs> now I'm in hot and sticky Louisiana. <laughs> so, I decided on a brand new hybrid car with a fully equipped air conditioning system. A hybrid car? Oh yes, they're marvelous. Vehicles that utterly defy everything you think you know about cars. Now, in the year 2005, it feels like we finally entered the 21st century. Stomp down on the gas all you want. The engine won't make a sound. It's silent? At first, I felt like the landscape was moving past me on its own. Give it a few more years, and I'm sure we'll start seeing cars that run purely on electricity. Okay. Who knows? In a decade or so, Electric sports cars may end up lining the parking lots of Silicon Valley. I can see it now. It's the world of The Last Starfighter. 1984, directed by Nick Castle. It's famous for being the first film to utilize realistic CG, but I couldn't care less about that. See, I was mesmerized by the beautifully refined mech designs. It even made me wish that I could be one of them myself. Especially the Gunstar spacecraft. No other sci-fi movie has ever had. So, uh, yeah, where'd your hybrid car get stolen? Sorry, I got off topic. I noticed it was missing after I finished my lunch and walked out of the diner. Incidentally, this diner was located at the entrance to a small town just south off the I-10. I went out to get back in it, but my hybrid car was nowhere to be found. I remembered exactly where I'd parked it right between a blue pickup truck and a hedgerow. But when I came back from lunch, it had completely vanished. In short, someone stole it. And in its place, they left.
Left me this. What? A fucking skateboard. <laughs> Yo. A skateboard. A skateboard? That's real creative. Yes. While I was sliding my lunch into my stomach, someone was busy replacing my brand new hybrid car yeah, that's a wooden rough. board yeah. attached to four wheels. Remarkable, don't you think? We got some pink grip tape on it. So then how did you get here? By riding the skateboard, obviously. Why do you look so surprised? No, I couldn't ride the board very well at first. But by the time I hit the three mile mark, I'd more or less gotten the hang of it. By the 10 mile mark, I'd even learned to do a few tricks. It was a journey of self-discovery. Not even I knew I had this latent talent sleeping inside me. Live and let die, Angel Heart, and the Pelican Brief, right? Nine out of ten people will name those titles when you ask them to think of a film set in New Orleans. They're all excellent movies, but to me they lack realism. Due to my line of work, I have a tendency to think deeply about what feels real and what doesn't. What's your point? Cat People. That's my point. Cat People. <laughs> 1982. Directed by Paul Schrader. The crowning achievement of Nastasia Kinski, the ultimate muse of the 80s. The most vital element of that movie is the reality it depicts. Leopards who turn into humans have intercourse with humans and turn back into leopards. Then they can only turn back into humans again if they mutilate their lovers. I was awestruck by the sheer reality of it all. Understand? I'm talking about hyper-realism. After watching it, I felt like I just had to experience the world of cat people for myself. That's why I decided to visit New Orleans. Uh, okay. Another vital element of cat people is the presence of Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell from Blue Thunder. Talk Listen carefully, David. Only an amateur would call A Clockwork Orange his best movie. His best movies are Cat People and Blue Thunder. I'm loving all the movie no one knows. And we kind of saw it in his, uh, in his room earlier. Period. Cool stuff. You need to remember this, because it's the truth. Mm, whatever you say, mister. So, uh, what's your point again? Never mind, don't worry about it. I already covered all the important That's parts. No <laughs> <laughs> None whatsoever. First one. What do you know about the Clarkson's house? Now, I ain't got nothing bad to say. But I'm gonna talk straight to you. You best steer clear of that place. Oh, really? That family ain't just some gang. They're a whole different kind of beast. They folks with real power. Remnants of the good old boys who shaped America in the early days. Especially the head of the family, P.J. Clarkson. He's the kind of monster who goes around eating other monsters. And I'm sure he's on edge now with his granddaughter getting murdered and all. So don't go barging in with that shiny FBI badge of yours and think you'll be safe or nothing. Things are different down here. So if you plan on sticking around, you best remember that. I see. I'll keep that in mind. The lawyer. Alright, well, I'll be off. When you say it was oh, like yeah. something from a uh, TV show, what exactly do you mean? <laughs> hey, mister. Why do you look so excited, huh? Like a kid asking grandma to read him a fairy tale. I just can't seem to keep myself away from young women who died in bizarre... No. Well, I ain't seen it with my own eyes. But folks say they found the body hanging under a bridge on the bayou. And under that bridge, there was some kind of altar an altar like something they use in black magic something horrible voodoo nah wasn't nothing like that just a weird altar that's all oh and the body was all cut up in pieces and under that bridge there was some kind of altar an altar like something they use in black magic Something horrible. Voodoo? Nah. Wasn't nothing like that. Just a weird 
altar. That's all? It's out you on go get heat stroke. The least clerks in case needs us. Don't you think so, Zach? The cat people are what guided us to New Orleans. Cat people. Mm -hmm. We should be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? Zach. The searing light. Mm, these scents. It's the deep south. The deep south. Mm. That was a fabulous breakfast. You're the world's greatest chef. Uh, wait, mister. You didn't take a single bite. Well, the tea was to die for. But I'd prefer coffee next time. What would a morning be without coffee? He's drinking tea. He didn't tell him anything. Did he even spend the night or is this like... He's wearing his pajamas. <laughs> it seems like that was like a flashback that was like threw him in his past or something. Well, yeah, I feel like that's how we're going to be playing as him. Yeah, yeah, the, the first case. The Lord Bloom. Alright, we'll turn to York's room and review the case. Cool. Control York now. You know what this reminds me of? The first game with the innkeeper lady? Yeah, yeah, and then he sat across the table from her. Yeah, and they just talked for like... God knows how long. Like an yellow. hour. <laughs> Just casually wearing his pajamas. You know what this reminds me of? Like GTA 3, maybe 4, <laughs> but just the mechanics in general. Oh, this is great. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee with milk. Two dollars and seven. Yo, at least it's not like thirty-seven dollars. He has like six hundred. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. In stock mode. <laughs> I'm in stock mode. Alright. I guess I'll let you down. Oh my Whoa. god. <laughs> my skirt looks like oh, That's cool. Right I did that. Nope. Okay. Well, his room, I just saw the red. I think I need to put this. Maybe. That's pretty obvious. Right yeah. Boom. Oh, your turn. Alright, we're gonna get dressed up now, put some suit on. Yep. Third shot. Saint Francis. Saint Rouge. I've been chasing it all over America. But I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't you, Zach? I think it's about time we ordered a new briefcase. Yes, I know this one carries a lot of memories, but it's seen too much. This hole's from the shootout in Tucson. And this stain's from Miami. Ah, uh, Miami. Now that was a fascinating case. Billy, our perp, cut his own torso right in two. Jeez, man, he's telling a story about the briefcase. <laughs> with the help of the drugs, oh, yeah. a feat like that still requires incredible mental fortitude. I was so impressed that I forgot I'd left my briefcase on the floor. Same floor his blood gushed out onto. <laughs> I feel so attached to the briefcase. I know, now. Zach, I know. Now isn't the time for a trip down memory lane. What is in it? Yeah. Evidence organization. 
How did it go? Say orange? An emergent drug that's been on the rise in four southern states. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. And these Clarkson's murder must be connected to it somehow. The 16-year-old girl who was murdered. Her body was found beneath a bridge over the bayou, along with a strange altar. The powerful man who essentially controls the town of Lucare. And he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law no, or granddaddy. Sake. Granddaddy. Grandpappy. Grandpappy <laughs> Clarkson. Casa Pineapple. <laughs> your truth. Are we gonna do the whole profiling you know, thing? I keep or is that thinking it? about that movie we stopped to see on our way here. I mean, the Island. 2005, directed by Michael Bay. For a movie being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. It was art house sci-fi. That director's going to change the history of art house films. Are you following me here? Transformers. <laughs> this is another special film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. This is a turning point, Zach. Fantastic. You may be witnessing the birth of a vital new word that will soon become a part of film history. Yes, this single movie may be responsible for creating a whole new genre several years down. A genre known as island movies. I sure like the sound of that. Don't use... Mission to... Answering a door. <laughs> Thank you. Answer. Let's see before I answer. There's a lot of stuff interacting. Yeah. Or so you think. What are you doing, man? It's telling yeah, I'm you. To see those, these paintings out here, man. See what's going on. Very cool. I'm very satisfied with the decorations and the size of this closet, Zach. And it's even got a security box. What else could a man ask what? for? <laughs> it's proof what? that we're still safely inside the fringes of modern civilization. To stash uh, rubber bullets. Nice. Oh, like what I'm wondering bullets. is if we're gonna get unlimited ammo again, like in the first game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing. Is that the chef? Hey there, chef. What's yeah. cooking? What's cooking? Chef. What are you talking about, sir? I'm the concierge, David. Oh, don't tell me it's like one of the... Oh my god, okay. I just heard from our chef that you wish to learn the meaning behind our town's name. Yes, I've gathered that Lucare is French, but does it have any special meaning? Why, yes, sir, of course it does. First thought was that crazy lunatic from Avatar. Yeah, yeah, that, that, um, it's literally kind of he the same like story. Everyone? Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you guys ever saw, but uh, in the Airbender, they had a similar situation. All right. Oh, I also did want to mention. I like the uh, the movie connections they had, and they mentioned like Blade Runner. I remember that 
album for him. Let's check this out. I remember my dad bought me a copy when I was very young, and I just love that movie. It took me a while to get it. Uh, but, uh, oh, and uh, let us know what your favorite sci-fi movies are, you know, that'd be cool to know. And, uh, we're gonna cut it here. And if you enjoy our content, just give us a like and subscribe. Yeah, it would be, uh, greatly appreciated. We're very excited for this game, and I hope everyone is too. We'll see you in the next